Here's the grid for round 13. Michael Higgs on pole position. Ronan Quinn alongside on row two. Carlito Morocco and Sikander Hussain followed by Nathan Edwards and championship leader Aaron Thompson. Row four, Cameron Pugh and Elliot Wilson. Then it's Ben Swift and Alexander Tate. Lewis Kent and Bradley Burns completing the grid. Five second board is displayed. That means we're ready to run here. Keep your eyes on the man running second in the championship. Pole position, the white car with the green stripes. That is Michael Higgs who gets away well. It's a good start right the way down the order. I think everybody away and around into turn one. Ronan Quinn in second. Carlito Morocco challenging the white car of Sikanda Hussain for third place. Fifth position is Cameron Pugh, the grey and red machine. Cameron looking up the inside of Sikanda up into turn two which is the hairpin Nathan Edwards is behind that battle with Aaron Thompson championship leader just to his right so what's Nathan going to do following Cameron Pugh following Thompson in fact through but no he's not following he dives down the inside line and goes through into fourth position so cracking stuff for him but it's Higgs leading from Quinn Morocco then Sikander Hussain it was fifth position I beg your pardon for, for Nathan Edwards followed by the championship leader Aaron Thompson so the early shenanigans hopefully out of the way there is Nathan now going past Sikander Hussain to take fourth place Aaron Thompson having a bouncy moment I think maybe avoidance there of, of Sikander Hussain Thompson weaves one way then the other I think just trying to get rid of the grass or gravel that the car might have picked up. Sikander raises a wheel. We go back to the two cars, second and third. Ronan Quinn, but look at look at Carlito. Morocco goes and tags the back end of the 20 car, which is all over the place. Ronan Quinn's car unsettled. The Leicestershire youngster collects it all back, but that has got that's got Carlito Morocco into second place so Carlito goes through it was almost a touring car move wasn't it I don't think Carlito intentionally went into the side of the car it was just the way that, that, it, that it happened going into the, the hairpin but Carlito up into second Ronan Quinn down to third here's the, the onboard from Elliot Wilson who qualified in eighth place Elliot's best result so far fourth place at Stetson in round three so they go around turn one, probably a, a worrying part of the circuit for mums and dads watching. Nathan Edwards going up into third place. Here's the view from Nathan, runs a little bit wide, corrects the steering. Here's the man he was challenging, and it's Ronan Quinn. Handle off from Nathan, I don't think too happy about whatever was going on. This is where he made the pass earlier on in the race on lap one. So very good going into Yetwood. And he's on the outside line now as they come into Chapman Curve with Ronan Quinn challenging him. Meanwhile, it looks like Sikander Hussain has just dropped a few places. So Sikander dropping away. Here is the Edwards, and now Thompson in the mix as well. Thompson goes around the outside line, passes Ronan Quinn to make up a position. But look how far the cars are in front of this battle. They're all battling hard. And now coming into Graceland's. So Aaron Thompson, 41, championship leader, the race leader. Michael Higgs is second in the championship. Eight points adrift of Tomo at the moment. Here we go in car with Elliot Wilson once again. He's coming into the Tarzan hairpin. 180 degree corner. Immediately in front of us, it's Cameron Pugh. Elliot Wilson started right behind Cameron Pugh on the grid. And Carlito Morocco really showing a good turn of speed now Morocco who won two races at Silverstone on the birth on the weekend of his 16th birthday and those two away and clear of Nathan Edwards at the moment Aaron Thompson fourth Thompson of course has won six races this year at the start of the season we're all talking about Thompson going into the record books as being maybe the most successful junior driver 
I think he could have another season in him. You're thinking about how young he started, and I know I bang on about this, but he's the youngest ever driver to start a, a motor race in the UK. We'll come back to that because Carlito Morocco's over the race leader. Michael Higgs the leader. Morocco gets a good exit of the hairpin. But he's got the outside line for Yentwood, the right-hander. He might go for the cut back on the inside. Let's see. Here's the view as they come towards us at Chapman Curve. Morocco challenging hard. But Michael Higgs is used to being in this situation. He's used to chasing. He's also used to defending as well. And these youngsters, a reminder, if you've not seen this championship before, 14 to 17-year-olds racing here. A great stepping stone into whatever senior, fo senior formulae beckon for them. And Morocco's going to have a look. Now he's trying to squeeze down the inside of Higgs and goes through. Great move by Morocco. Coming through Graceland, takes the lead. Michael Higgs down to second. That calf set up immaculately. Now Morocco joined the championship at the start of this year two wins already he is in the lead Michael Higgs is taking a long run here this may be about slingshotting Morocco the ginger Italian as he's known down the straight going into the Brook S's Higgs chasing hard Morocco here for my money not getting too defensive at the moment I think he knows that he's got a good car beneath him he knows he's pedalling well and that wasn't defensive at all coming into the S's and you can see it hasn't done him any any problems at all taking that full racing line into the Brook S's and he's starting to get away of course he knows he's got a faster car he caught Higgs anyway and he's now pulling away so it's Morocco looking to add a third win in his maiden year of car racing Cameron Pugh in the number seven second place for Cameron at Castle Coombe his best result in the championship comes from Guildford in Surrey and uh, having a, a lonely-ish time of things at the moment coming into the Dean Hairpin, Aaron Thompson up, up ahead of him Aaron's season seemed to go awry when we got to Castle Coombe, 10th and 4th a non-classified and retirement Silverstone last time out and as I say the championship gap down to 8 points and Michael Higgs is going to make even more inroads into that there's Bradley Burns Alton base race, the second meeting for Bradley, eighth and ninth on his debut. Ben Swift in the blue car, light blue car. And uh, Ben, who joined the championship at Castle Coombe. So two of our brand newcomers, dicing with Sikander Hussain, who we saw up at the sharp end of things in race number one. Alexander Tate is ahead of them. And a good move by Sikander down the inside, passes Ben Swift. Aaron Thompson you can see behind them as well not having things uh, too clever in this one at the moment either Alexander Tate goes through in the 99 cars won a Young Achievers Award by Disabled Motor in UK so our congratulations to him a very dogged campaigner as we continue to watch Sikander Hussain and Ben Swift having a, a real good race of it. So on to the last lap here at Rockingham. Round 13 is drawing to a conclusion. Ben Swift sadly out of the race you saw in the back of shot. And this is the race leader, Carlito Morocco, looking for his third race win of the year. And three on the bounce as well. So are we starting to see, starting to see the beginning of a a uh, record-breaking run for Carlito he's uh, age-wise of course able to come back into the championship next year most championships you're looking particularly at junior level maybe a two-year program one year to bed yourself in second year to go for that championship challenge and Carlito here a race winner in year one if he comes back next year he's going to I think going to be one of the top seeds but he's running well comes from Bookham in Surrey and on his way to this way he's got the fastest lap of the race as well 147.9 that's averaging very nearly 70 miles per hour and when you consider the twists and turns of this circuit that's no mean feat but Carlito on his way fifth in the championship this will close the gap down to Ronan Quinn Ronan's in fourth place here he's not going to overtake the fourth place man in the championship but he's going to edge closer with this excellent result through the brick chicane for the last time and then he'll rejoin the super speedway the big oval here that the pickup trucks race on 
and indeed they're on at this meeting but here's the chequered flag Carlito Morocco makes it three wins are out of three Michael Higgs is five seconds down the road here comes Michael for second place Nathan Edwards is third and completes the podium from Ronan Quinn in yellow and blues coming around the corner now so across the line goes Ronan then Aaron Thompson in fifth place recovering and picking up some points there but here's confirmation of the result Morocco from Higgs Edwards Ronan Quinn Aaron Thompson fifth from Cameron Pugh then Alexander Tate Bradley Burns eighth from Elliot Wilson then Sikander Hussain and Lewis Kent well firstly uh, congratulations Kalito uh, first overall start third on the grid talk us through the race yeah it was a bit of a hectic race I think from behind but um, now just uh, the first corner of course it's a, it's, a, it's a tight one and it's a fast one going in there so uh, a couple of uh, well, it's quite quite crowded, and uh, I think a couple of people span. And then uh, the first lap was a bit hectic into into Tarzan the hairpin, uh, Ronan a little bit of a tap in there. Um, but no, it was for me it was quite clean actually. But um, I think for other people it was quite a uh, quite a hectic race. But no, for me it was it was good. I enjoyed it. Hey Michael, you started pole, uh, finished second. Um, it was a tight first few laps, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, off the start, I managed to get a all right start and get into the lead into the first corner, and then. Um, I think the boys behind me managed to sort themselves out and uh, jostle for position. And then uh, Carly to managed to catch me up and get the run on me into Graceland's and pass me there. What a race, Nathan. Uh, you finished on the podium in the end. You started fifth, but uh, it was a furious battle on the first three laps, wasn't it? Yeah, no, it was absolute mayhem from the start. The first three laps were just everybody was out breaking themselves, going into the hairpin. Uh, great race with, with, with Aaron, and it was just a shame he out breaking himself. But yeah, no, once we got past the melee at the start, uh, the Daniels car was absolutely on song and we had a problem later on uh, that we think we got sort for race two but that's why I dropped off so far back behind everybody else. Carlito Morocco on pole from Michael Higgs then Nathan Edwards and Ronan Quinn Aaron Thompson row three with Cameron Pugh Alexander Tate and Bradley Burns next from Elliot Wilson and Skander Hussain Lewis Kent and Ben Swift completing the grid. This is round 14 of the 2015 BRSCC Fiesta Junior Championship at Rockingham. 14 to 17 year olds you're watching here. If you're of that age, nag your mum and dad to come out and have a race with us. And if you're a mum and dad, then uh, it's all a safe environment. Some great cars, not a great start. In fact, it's a stall on the grid for Elliot Wilson and uh, an orange clad marshal running over to assist the orange car but it was a very good start from Michael Higgs off the front row of the grid Nathan Edwards side by side with Ronan Quinn for third position Aaron Thompson is side by side with Cameron Pugh and Ronan Quinn's on the outside line but it's Michael Higgs leading this is where they funnel in Carlito Morocco Alex is second place going into the hairpin with Nathan Edwards third Aaron Thompson's had all sorts of gremlins over the weekend um, and he's come through here Lewis Kent seems to have made up positions from 11th on the grid but it's Michael Higgs out front Carlito Morocco, Nathan Edwards then the blue and white car of Aaron Thompson Ronan Quinn next up from Cameron Pugh Michael Higgs hoping to grab another win Higgs so far this year has had three the man from Dunmo in Essex here's the view from Nathan Edwards it always makes me laugh when these drivers gesticulate as if to say come on get a move on um, you know they're all trying their hardest anyway but I guess it sums up the passion of the drivers and uh, Nathan Edwards has got plenty of passion and wants to crack on with the race but it's Higgs leading from Morocco at the moment Edwards in third Aaron Thompson in fourth position Thompson here will again pick up some useful points Ronan Quinn dropping back just a little bit at the moment. Then we go back to Cameron Pugh. Next up then is, is Lewis Kent running well here. Kent was 11th in race number one. So the Whittam based driver pulling clear. We've got Sikander Hussain following. And then Alexander Tate followed by Ben Swift. Bradley Burns at the back of the group but Michael Higgs goes into turn one still in front of the ginger Italian who's going to try and close down and here's the in-car footage from Carlito Morocco not going up to the wall but this is very much about a dive down the inside well not a dive a move 
a dive that tends to suggest that it's it's maybe a bit desperate and there's nothing desperate about what's going on there and Carlito still in second place but giving notice of intent again to Michael Higgs that he wants to go past closes up under braking into Yentwood now we've got a little straight run down towards Chapman where we're looking across now challenge for third Aaron Thompson goes third so Thompson getting himself back into the podium position here we haven't seen Thompson on the podium since the 28th of June at at Snetterton he won't thank me for reminding you all of that but he's really the, the key thing for me is that Thompson had a good championship lead it got whittled away with a series of problems but now he's coming back into it a lesser driver would have let that get into their heads but Thompson clearly hasn't had that happen and he's thought himself back onto a podium here but uh, whilst all the problems have happened for Thompson in the few, last few rounds we've seen drivers like Carlito Morocco really getting to grips with this formula and picking up winning form. Morocco goes wide and Thompson goes through. Thompson up into second. Morocco's going to try and challenge back. Nathan Edwards coming into the mix as well. Coming into the Brook chicane. Morocco doesn't want to see SDT contracts. He gives a little wave to crack on with it as well. Good camaraderie in the paddock here. Great shot from Morocco's car going through the Brook chicane. And it's Thompson coming out of the chicane onto turn four onto the main straightaway here and across the line but it's the two jam sport boys one and two look how michael higgs is virtually out to the wall could, could very nearly scrape the offside mi um, mirror onto the concrete here and thompson shadowing him here picking up the draft and thompson comes out of it and throws down the inside of michael higgs to challenge for the lead which he's got thompson leads higgs is second morocco third and Carlito's looking up the inside line here. That will convert to the outside at Yentwood. Great racing from the juniors. Morocco's getting a good run down the straight, but Higgs is wise to it and maintains the inside line, maintains second position as Thompson now is starting to break away. So Thompson's doing what Carlito did in the first race. Morocco's still challenging Higgs, and it's brought in Ronan Quinn in blue and yellow and Nathan Edwards, who is there as well, Ronan Quinn's best result, second place at Castle Coombe and at Silverstone. Thompson is uh, pretty much checking out at the moment. So Thompson going down the road ahead of his teammate. Michael Higgs in second. Carlito Morocco still in third. And this is where the main focus is. Morocco, look at the wide line here, down into the tiles and hairpin. Now this might be about to run up the inside. Morocco again seems not to to worry about people trying to close in on him he doesn't get overly defensive he, he believes that his lines are going to speak for themselves but now nathan edwards coming through so carlito left the door open there to be fair edwards is through ronan quinn's going to follow through as well so carlito loses a couple of positions perhaps the car not behaving itself as well as it should because that was very uncharacteristic so thompson out front now morocco is down in fifth place so it's Thompson Higgs Edwards Quinn Morocco the top five all pretty much on the same piece of tarmac and these 20 minute races that these youngsters get they get plenty of free practice and qualifying time on day one of the meeting and two long races on day two as Edwards challenges for second place on Michael Higgs Higgs again looking fairly confident Morocco just trying to suss out I think what's going on ahead of him we go in car with him and he's got back on terms with Quinn so Morocco goes through and passes Ronan Quinn once again. Great racing from these juniors. Place swapping. I tell you what, it's probably more place swapping here than we get in, in say, a touring car race. And these youngsters, that's what they're teeing themselves up for. That's what their ultimate aim may well be. They may go the single-seater route. You can move up into the MSA Formula Championship if you're a youngster. Back down the field, 22 cars got going, which is good news. And there is Lewis Kent in 32 ahead of him. Elliot Wilson, who we saw very uh, recalcitrant on the grid, but he's got going, which is the good news. And clearly the 22 machine making very good progress indeed. Here they come around turn one. Carlito still in fourth position, wants another podium, wants another win to make it four on the bounce. But Ronan Quinn is going to deprive him of fourth place. Quinn's hard on the brakes. Aaron Thompson still out front. Higgs, his teammate, second. Nathan Edwards is there in third. Quinn and Morocco all over the back of Edwards at the moment. Morocco here could dive down the inside. He's, is he too far back? He's going to do it. Edwards, isn't he? On Edwards, going down 
into Yentwood. Can he convert that into third place? Let's see. There's the race leader. There's second. And here comes third place. Edwards is still maintaining that. Got a very good run around the outside line. Morocco trying everything. And ultimately, Quinn gets back into fourth position. So it's Edwards, Quinn and Morocco, third, fourth and fifth at the moment. Superb stuff from these youngsters. Good, clean, fair racing so far from the 14 to 17-year-olds. Now, many of the drivers, of course, have moved on to other formulae. Aidan Moffat having made it into touring cars. We see the likes now of uh, Sam Watkins having a Clio Cup debut beckoning. Jack Mitchell, of course, former champion racing in that. And then we've got the, the option for the cars. And Morocco and Quinn still at it as we go in car with Morocco. JJ Ross in the senior championship now. Talking about JJ Ross, his uh, record could be equal of race wins here. If Aaron Thompson hangs on, he'll equal JJ Ross's record of 11 race wins in this championship. And Nathan Edwards across the grass, collects it all back. Well, those four cars who were a while ago pretty close have, have now sorted themselves out Morocco here ahead of Michael Higgs going on to the last lap Aaron Thompson is still the race leader so we've had a major change round in the top five but it's still Aaron Thompson up front Thompson turns in Morocco closing up now on the, and he's got the fastest lap so Morocco fastest lap and win in race one he's got the fastest lap in this one too now, Aaron, is Aaron Thompson's car going off? It's a very long lap here at Rockingham, and Morocco, possibly aided by Michael Higgs, might be able to close up. But here they come. It's, it's Thompson still leading. And I think talk of equaling JJ Ross's record may have been a bit premature. Through Chapman and up into Piff Path towards Kirby, which is where our camera is, and Thompson still leads. Morocco is closing up and might even be close enough to have a go at Graceland's where we saw him pass for the lead in race one. He runs a little bit wide there. Thompson's still there, but Morocco's chasing down the hill. Here they come into Graceland's. Morocco's too far back. He's not going to repeat the move that we saw earlier on. They're heading down in towards Tarzan now, and it's three or four lengths at the moment, so Thompson still with the race lead. He's going to consolidate the championship lead for, for Thompson coming out of Tarzan and Morocco slows. Now what's happened there? Morocco slows, has he missed a gear? It looks like he's maybe missed a gear, changing coming out of the corner, ch chasing Thompson, who's going to take the win from Michael Higgs, but it was big pressure from Morocco, but he's lost out and it's Thompson who's going to equal JJ Ross's record and re-establish himself at the top of the table. Six points clear of the man chasing him, Michael Higgs. Nathan Edwards will be third in the championship. There's the win for Thompson. Higgs second. Ronan Quinn comes through for third. And then it's Nathan Edwards, Cameron Pugh. Carlito recovers for sixth place. Elliot Wilson takes seventh. But with 11 career wins, now joint top of the career table with JJ Ross. It's Aaron Thompson, the championship leader. Higgs second from Quinn, Edwards, Pugh, Morocco, Elliot Wilson, Alexander Tate, Bradley Burns, Ben Swift and Lewis Kent. A great weekend at Rockingham. Bradley Burns wins the Rookie Driver of the Weekend. And we'll see you next time at Brands Hatch.